here with the latest developments on the deadly shooting is Michelle Malcolm, syndicated columnist and Fox News contributor. Michelle, first things first, um, I keep hearing this. Uh, if he contacted Al Qaeda, this would be terrorism. For me, 13 people are dead. It's terrorism. Yes, no? Yeah, I don't think we have to play games with a rush to judgment anymore. I think the bigger problem for the American government and the uh, culture post 9-11 is that there are too many people still doing the rush to whitewash. We've been through so many of these narratives, Eric, where it's plain as day that jihad is what motivated these people to engage in bloody rampages and nobody wants to see it. They're like the, the uh, monkeys that are see no evil, hear no evil and speak no evil. This was plain evil. It was inspired by jihad and the signs are all there the red flags were missed and it, it behooves everyone in congress in washington to figure out who dropped the ball michelle talk about this link to the the mosque in virginia that the two 9-11 terrorists actually uh, prayed uh, at, at the same very same time that the major from uh, fort hood was there uh, can you what's the link Right. By all accounts, uh, Nidal Hassan attended this mosque, Dar al Hijra, uh, starting in at least 2001. His mother, uh, who has since passed, was a member of this mosque. Uh, he attended and became increasingly radicalized and was praying there as late as 2008. Uh, in 2001, when he was attending services, uh, the, the mosque leader was a radical uh, jihadist, um, uh, Anwar al Awlaqui who has since absconded to Yemen, but counseled at least three of the 9-11 hijackers, including Khalid al-Madar and Nawaz al-Hamzi. All right, Michelle, what do we do wrong? How do we not stop this uh, from happening? What do, we, what do we miss? Well, I've said many times over the years, Eric, that political correctness is the handmaiden of terror, and this is yet another case of that, because apparently even military officials seem to worship the false god of diversity uh, over putting national security and the safety of their own officers first. Uh, I, I think the, the main agenda item should not be, as it seems to be from Department of Homeland Security officials, to prevent some sort of anti-Muslim backlash. The main agenda should be to figure out why nobody stopped this man from infiltrating the military and then slaughtering American soldiers on American soil. Michelle, uh, the president, uh, the day it happened last Thursday, came out and he made a, a speech. Some people are, are upset with him. He spent about a minute and a half, two minutes talking, shouting out some people before he went into the actual uh, the shooting and the deaths of the 13 people in, in Fort Hood. Is he doing enough? Well, it was bizarre. It was debilitating, obviously, for him. And, of course, we're dealing with an administration that doesn't even want to say the words jihad, Islamic jihad. We've got an administration that thinks that the real threat is so-called right-wing terrorists and right-wing extremists and has never issued a report from DHS about the threat from Islamic jihad. Uh, the other day, I listed case after case of Muslim soldiers with attitude, is what I've called them over the years, who've been able able to uh, infiltrate the, themselves and insinuate themselves in the armed forces despite all sorts of warning signs about their hatred for America uh, and their jihadi intentions. And there were uh, officers who attended graduate classes with Nidal Hassan who warned their superiors that this man had always considered himself a Muslim first and an American, sec uh, American second. Where were our watchdogs? Well, what about that? I read somewhere where he had, he had a business card. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what that, what that yeah. business card read? Yes, uh, another huge red flag. Uh, blogger Pamela Geller on the internet pointed to uh, a couple of initials that are listed on his calling card, and they have the letters S O A and then S W T in parentheses. S O A stands for Soldier of Allah, and S W T is a, a related Muslim saying that goes along with that. Did did not any one of his superiors see this? Could they not tell that this was a huge honking red sign that this man? did not consider himself someone who was going to uh, uphold the Constitution and the laws of the United States and defend all enemies, foreign and domestic. Hello. Michelle, uh, jo Senator Lieberman said, uh, Joe Lieberman said that he's going to open an investigation as to what really happened. Uh, can we expect any sort of change going forward? Well, I think it's going to take a lot of outside pressure, outrage from Americans uh, of all creeds and colors and, and religions uh, who um, cannot tolerate anymore this pre-9-11 attitude of putting diversity uber alles. 
All right, Michelle Malcolm, we've got to leave it there. Thank you very much.